What's up, guys? It's Rip City Running Down, and today I'm going to be talking about a player I believe could break out for the Portland Trailblazers this year, and if he does, will take this team's success to the next level. That player I am talking about, as you probably could have guessed it by the thumbnail, maybe, but I'm talking about Nasir Little. Little has only played 138 games out of the possible 228 in his career so far, partly because of injury, partly because of rotation. He never really broke into the rotation with Terry Stotts as the head coach. Finally broke into the rotation last year just to tear his labrum in his shoulder after 45 games. He's yet to eclipse the 50-game mark in a season. However, with all that being said, last year he began to slightly break out. In his last 12 games of the year, once he finally got into the starting role, and this is still with C.J. McCollum on the team, he played his last game on January 25th. That's before trading C.J. McCollum, Norman Powell, Robert Covington, so all those guys were still in there. The only difference with this lineup is the fact that Damian Lillard was hurt. But in his final 12 games, he averaged 13 points a game, 5.5 rebounds, and 31 minutes, shooting 45% from the field, and the kicker, 40% from three. He looked prime for a breakout last year, but obviously, like I said, that shoulder injury slowed him down. Little has a 7'2 wingspan. He's only 6'5", so he's kind of a tweener between that big guard and that smaller forward. Um, but that 7'2 wingspan, similar to like a Shane Sharp, gives him the flexibility to play some three if needed. And I believe that's exactly what he'll do this year. I could see him in the starting lineup. Chauncey Billups really liked him in his time coaching him last year in those 45 games. But I think he'll be fighting with Josh Hart for the starting small forward spot. I think we got four starters, obviously, locked in. And Dame, Ant, Jeremy Grant, and Yusuf Nurkic. That three spot is up for grabs. We've got guys like Josh Hart that could get some run there. Justice Winslow, like I said, Nasir Little. Even Gary Payton the second in some small lineups. We've got people to run that, but it's the question on who's going to start and who's going to take the most of their opportunity. Personally, I would like to see Josh Hart come off the bench because we saw what he did with the Blazers last year as a starter. And that was really kind of like a bench unit just starting because of the amount of injuries we had. And he can really run a second unit, I believe. And I think Nasir Little fits beside Damon Ant a little more because he doesn't need the ball. He plays valuable defense. That's the key. And he shoots well from three. We saw that. He started to shoot the ball well from three at the end of the year last year. He shot 40%. A big thing with him next year also is it is going to be a contract year for him. He's going to be a restricted free agent at the end of next season. That always gets guys to play better. Um, we saw Anthony Simon step up his game a lot. I know his opportunity came, but he stepped up his game quite a bit in his contract year. And guys like to play for their money for good reason. They're playing for their lives. And I think Nasir Little is going to come out with a little more motivation. He's now in a winning team last year. I know like he finally got his opportunity, but it's still hard to be motivated night in and night out when you know you suck. So I believe the winning culture will help him out a little bit and give him a little more motivation. I think he's really fighting for that starting spot this year. I look at basketball reference and they do a 2022-2023 projection for stats. And throughout his career in this year, he's averaged three points and four points. And then last year, he averaged almost 10 points for the whole year. They expect him to average almost 14 points a game last year, as well as seven and a half rebounds, two assists, a block, and a steal. They have him shooting 35% from the field. But in my opinion, if he's averaging 14 points and seven rebounds next year, that is an absolute W. For Nasir Little, he's a guy that's, I'm not going to look at the stat sheet and know what he does for the team at the end of the game. You're going to have to actually watch the game to see what he does. He's a guy that's not a stat sheet filler. He does the dirty work on defense. We saw that a lot last year. And he's going to shoot and hit his shots when he has the opportunity. I mean, it wasn't long ago when he was the number three prospect in the entire country going into college. He got stuck on the bench at UNC. Um, you know, a ton of talent on that team. You had Cam Johnson, you had Kobe White, you had Luke May. A ton of talent on that team. Nasir Little never really got to break into that lineup. He still played a lot of valuable minutes there, and he still played well, but he obviously dropped out of that top 10 projected pick all the way down to the 25th pick for the Blazers. So I think next year's his breakout year. We've seen Blazers players break out in their third to fourth year um, just throughout the past 10 years. You saw CJ McCollum breakout and I believe was his third year. He broke out in those playoffs. Anthony Simons obviously broke out last year. That was in his third or fourth year coming up on a contract year. I'm telling you, these NBA players play harder in contract years, and Nasir Little has never been one that lacks the hustle. I think just the idea of playing for a new contract 
and playing for that money is going to give him a ton of motivation next year. A lot of people are projecting the Blazers to suck next year. That ESPN has us at 35 and 47. And I, I just think that's disrespectful. They're not taking into account the talent they have on this team because it's actually a very talented roster. Damian Lillard's never missed the playoffs other than his rookie year. I don't think that changes next year. And I think Nasir Little is going to be a big reason why. I think he gets that starting spot at some point in the year he might. And I expect him to take it and just run with it. Guys break out that we don't expect all the time. The issue is I am expecting Nasir Little will break out. The average fan isn't. Nasir Little, I expect him to have a big year next year, and he's going to be a huge part of the Blazers' success. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe for more Blazer content coming at you in the next couple months. Um, we got a podcast coming out in the next video you see on this channel. will be another podcast. It's been a minute since we've done one of those. So make sure to stay tuned and be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.